Razo from Total Boat is a versatile mineral casting compound. It's water-based and non-toxic. Plus, with a 1A to 2B mix ratio by volume, it's easy to create stunning creations with a range of visual effects. Create incredible terrazzo-inspired pieces, marbling effects, and one-of-a-kind creations by adding pigments and casting razzo into molds. Razo also looks stunning when combined with Total Boat Epoxy. Mixing Razo. Razo comes with part A, which is an acrylic liquid, and part B, which is a mineral powder. First decide what you want to create and determine how many fluid ounces are needed to fill that mold. We need about four fluid ounces, so we'll use two ounces of part A, liquid, and four ounces of part B, powder. Your powder volume should roughly equal the volume of Razo that you want to make. Always make sure to mix one part liquid with two parts powder. Stir together with a mixing stick or use a paddle attachment on a drill for a larger quantity of material. Once you've achieved a smooth consistency without lumps, you can color with pigments. You may want to separate into smaller quantities to color or add pre-made Razo chips. Then pour into your mold and let it cure. It may be ready to demold in as little as one hour or in a few hours, depending on which pigments you added and depending on the size of your mold. To be sure it's ready, touch the surface of your casting. If it's firm to the touch and cool, you can demold. Color pull. Add visual interest by pulling colors along the surface of your casting using the color pull technique. Pour layers of different colors of Razo into your mold. To create the color pull effect, use a thin tool or stick such as a cotton swab. Try experimenting with tools of different widths. Submerge your tool into the casting, then pull the material along the surface of the mold, maintaining contact as you pull. Marbling. Easily create a marbling effect by brushing Razo into your mold. After mixing a small amount of part A and part B, add additional Razo liquid, part A, until the mixture is thin enough that it drizzles from your brush. This thinned material will create the veins of your marble effect. Brush it onto the walls of your silicone mold and allow it to bead on the surface. This effect works best with molds that have a high gloss finish. Use the standard mix ratio and a new color. Fill the mold without disturbing the surface of your mold. Dirty pour. Create a unique and unexpected creation with ribbons of color throughout. Add pigment to create three or more colors of Razo. Layer those colors in one cup, creating as few or as many layers as you want. Without mixing the colors together, you can fold them over to create more visual interest. Pour from your single cup into the mold. Terrazzo. Create a terrazzo effect using custom color chips. To create chips, spread a thin layer of razzo material onto a silicone mat or plastic sheet. When it's dry, crumble it into chips, which can be large or small based on the effect you want to create. Each time you have leftover material from a project, remember to use the excess to spread and make chips, then store for future use. Mix up the razzo that you want to use as your base Add chips in various colors and sizes and pour into your mold. To reveal chips, when your project is ready to demold, use 220 to 400 grit sandpaper to wet sand the surface. Immediately after curing, the material will be the softest, making it easier to sand. Smooth surface. Try these tips for a smooth surface on your casting. To ensure the tight corners of your mold receive coverage, paint the surface of your mold with the same Razo material you plan to pour into your mold. Immediately after pouring, pinch the edges of your mold gently to release trapped air. Use a toothpick to release air bubbles that are close to the surface. Tap the sides of your mold to release air bubbles or lift the mold and gently drop it onto a flat surface. Share your Razo inspiration with hashtag TotalBoatRazo.